All right, so we've tested all the paddles in real points, and now he's arrived at his top three favorites. So why don't you rank them now in order from three to one? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find the best paddle for your unique game style. Everyone plays differently, so not everyone's gonna like the same paddles. Throughout the video, I'll show you how to properly test out paddles by taking my friend Darsh through a full testing process. And by the end, we'll pick his favorite. So stay tuned if you wanna see what he ends up with. So the key to finding the best possible paddle for your game is testing. And there's three main ways to do that. One, trying out your friend's paddles. Two, demoing them at a store. Or three, getting demos to bring to the courts. I understand that not everyone's gonna have access to a good store, so you may need to get creative with trying out your friend's paddles or demoing them online. I'm luckily in LA where we have some cool shops that have all the best paddles to demo. One thing to consider is that it's tough to accurately test paddles if you aren't doing multiple paddles at once. If you're testing out paddles on different days, it's very hard to remember what felt different about each one. So that's why I like getting multiple demos to test at the same time so I can compare all their different features. Looking at the different features of a paddle, it's important that you understand how paddles can be different from one another so that you understand what to look for when you're testing. One, power. Two, control. Three, forgiveness. Four, spin. Five, weight. And six, the general way it feels in your hand. When I say forgiveness, I'm referring to how far off center you can hit the ball on your paddle without it feeling like a miss hit. The main thing you're looking for though is a paddle that feels natural for you to play with. So all these different features need to add up to a paddle that you feel is best for your game. To get our demos, we've come to the Santa Monica Pickleball Center. These guys have a great selection of all the best paddles on the market. All right, we asked them for some of the hottest paddles on the market to test, and this is what we got. Eula Perseus 16mm, the Selkirk Vanguard Power Air, the Gearbox CX-14, the Engage Pursuit MX Ultra, the Pro Kenix Black Ace, and the Carbon Power X Series. For reference, I'm a Selkirk player and I use the Power Air, but I'm not going to be biased towards what Darsh picks today. One other thing to mention in this video is that we're looking for the best of the best quality, so we're not operating with a budget. The prices of these paddles range from $150 to $250, so they're definitely not the cheapest. If you think we should make a video about budget paddles, let us know in the comments. Now, let's get into the testing. Luckily, this facility has courts literally right outside the shop, so we can get testing right away. To start, Darsh is gonna do what's called paddle split testing, where he compares two paddles to each other and picks a winner. The Darsh is a righty, and he has a paddle in his left hand, but he just has that there so he can switch off to compare his dinks and see how they feel with each one. What's important is that you try out the paddles from every part of the court and you do all of your shots because every paddle is going to feel a little bit different depending on what shot you're using. Some will be better for dinks, some will be better for drive, so you need to make sure that you test everything out. So we've already done a few tests and we're narrowing down the options now. With the carbon, I feel like I could really get a little more power on my dinks. I'm so far leaning towards the uh, carbon. With the carbon, I really don't have to swing as hard to get as much power and I could really drive the ball through the court low below the net. So right now I would say that the carbon beat the gearbox in my first split test and it just beat the Pro Connects in the second one. As of the third round, the carbon's the winner. All right, so what are the, some of the main differences that you're feeling between these paddles? I think the biggest difference that I've noticed in all these paddles is the size of the sweet spot and probably the forgivingness of some of the paddles compared to others. So then after trying all these paddles, which features do you think are the most important? I think my top three features would be forgiveness, spin, power. All right, so we've done all our split tests and we've narrowed it down to his top three. So what do we got? I got the Carbon 1X Power. I got the Engage Pursuit MX Ultra and I have the Eula Perseus. So I personally believe to figure out which paddle you really like best, you need to play real points with it. So to test out his top three, we're gonna play some skinny singles where we go half court and play points.
right, so we've tested all the paddles in real points, and now he's arrived at his top three favorites. So why don't you rank them now in order from three to one? I'm gonna put the carbon at number three. I thought it was really powerful, but I didn't really like it when I was thinking. At number two was the Engage Pursuit MX Ultra. And that number one is the Eula Perseus. So what made you like the Eula more than the other paddles? I think the Eula had a good balance between power and control. I think it was really easy for me to get spin on my drops as well as my dinks. I didn't have to put as much effort into getting power. An important thing to keep in mind though is that every player is different, so every player is going to prefer different paddles. So Darsh's results could be completely different to what you get. Remember, I use this bad boy, so make sure to go through a full testing process and I'm sure you'll find something that's great for your game. And guys, if you like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and make sure to let us know in the comments if you want to see any other paddles for us to test out.